Hello, hello, my lovely friends, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to do a journal with me video, and I thought it would be nice, nice, yes, nice. <laughs> Sometimes I'm, uh oh, somebody's coming up to say hi, so just be prepared. Oh, maybe not. Um, I thought it would be fun to do a quick video with some very easy ways of creating uh, pockets and tuck spots and what is commonly referred to as a belly band um, in our journals. Oh, here comes Lucy to say hello. Oh, it, she's so cuddly. Every As soon as I sit down, Sophie or Lucy wants to have a... Okay, come on. There we go. Okay. Okay. Yep. Come, <laughs> come around. There we go. Okay. There we go. Um, oh, God. Now I've totally lost my train of thought. Sorry. Um, yeah. Easy, easy ways to create um, some interesting spots to put journaling in your, in your junk journal. There, sometimes I feel like I'm supposed to use all these sort of big words and phrases and, and yeah. Anyways, um, I have some old greeting cards that we're going to use. I have some pages from books that I've sort of cut out. Um, this was at the, yeah, this was at the bottom of a, a, a fairy tale book page that I thought if I turned on the side, it would make an interesting spot to tuck some hidden journaling in because you guys know that I am all about the hidden journaling. Um, I'm going to add in a page from that fairy tale as well and create an extra little, not only a page, but a little spot to put some stuff in. I have a tag here that my friend from the Netherlands was kind enough to make and share with me. And like I said, we're going to do some stuff with some greeting cards. This greeting card I cut the other side off of it. Um, but it has this interesting little pocket here. Um, so I'm going to put two-way tape around here. And we're going to create a pocket that goes in this way. And then we're going to use this space here and create a pocket that goes like this. And, of course, Easter is around the corner. So I have some great um, Easter springtime cards that were given to be my by my best friend when her mother was cleaning out her uh, her card drawer. So let's see how far we get. I've got a bunch of stuff ready, and we'll see um, <laughs> we'll see when Lucy lets me get up. Oh yes, oh yes. So um, thanks for being here today, and uh, I'm going to turn the camera around and we'll get started. Oh wait, do you want to? Yeah. Would you like to say hello? Would you like to say hello? I don't know if I can... Here. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at all the hair you got on Mommy's hoodie. <laughs> yeah. I know. It's a rain day here today, so the girls are not happy that they can't be outside enjoying the sunshine. However, this works too. Doesn't it, Luce? Yeah, this works too. Okay, let's get started. Okay, yeah? Can we journal now? What do you think? Yeah? Okay, okay. Okay, so here we are. I have this uh, front of an old card, and I'm going to journal on the back of this, of course. But something that I thought I would quickly show you, which you may have already seen before, but I had not thought of this until a friend of mine pointed it out, and I was like, oh. So you take your, what is this, one, is this half inch? Does it say? I think it's three quarter inch, or hang on. <laughs> let's get a, let's just see, what is this? Half inch, no. It is a three-quarter, five-eighths, hole punch. But you could use any size, really. It doesn't have to be this size. You punch out your little circle. You get your glue here. 
And this way you can create a pretty little tag reinforcement circle thingy. <laughs> I love this idea. I have reinforcements, but they're usually just sort of the, the boring ones that you get, you know. So I like this idea that you can create just that, add that little extra detail. Because it's the small things in life, isn't it? Right? Ta-da! Okay, so now we have our spot for hidden journaling. I'm going to take... So, I'm not going to do anything fancy here. I'm just going to kind of go around and get rid of the text there. going to go straight down like that and then I'm just simply going to glue that here and then this is going to sit nicely in here and I could actually get another piece of paper um, underneath there as well so what I'm going to do in the interest of not getting super duper messy I'm going to use my two-way tape I don't know what we did before two-way tape, <laughs> you know. Well, we used glue, but boy, this really... I love... I, I, I know there's a lot of people out there that say that it, it doesn't last, and I just like the convenience of it, and that it's just less messy. Not that I'm... I have problems with making a mess, per se, but this way I know I'm not getting my my gluey fingers all over everything, which I certainly have done in the past. Okay, and just like that, we have a pocket. So, like I said, you could get something else underneath there if you need it, want it, like depending on what you wanted to do, you could, you know, do my favorite trick was to layer paper on, on top of paper. But it's just that simple, just that simple. So, now, like I said, this was um, from a, a fairy tale book that I had. So, what I did was, I, I did sort of the same thing. doobly doop doo doop Cut around there. And then I took a page out of the book. Um, this, this illustration I really loved. I loved the, the colors, the muted tones. And there's an owl here. And owls remind me of my granny. Um, she is the Isla of Isla and Alice. When I decided to start this postcard journal paper business, um, I wanted to um, honor both my grandmothers, and that's why it's called Isla and Alice, because I named it after them. But anyway, so, and then on the inside what I did was, because I love, love, love graph paper, I glued in a sheet of graph paper here, and then I glued in a little sheet here. So I have a lot of space for hidden journaling. Um, if I guess if I wanted to, I could also put a piece of paper on the back if I wasn't crazy about it. But because I really like the owl, I'm not going to do that. So the plan is I'm going to use my two-way tape. I'm going to tape this down, and then this is going to get tucked in underneath here like that. So let's do that. Let me just turn this here. Okay, so I'm going to place this down here first. And I really like the contrast color between the blue grid and this yellow. Because let's face it, part of the fun of creating these journals, or at least I think part of the fun should be the the playing with the colors as well, and different tones, and, and trying different things out that way. Okay, perfect. That fits perfect in there. So what you could do, again, there's room for something else to go there in, in behind. Um, we could possibly take, could put something in here as well, and give yourself a little bit more space for journaling. But I really like this. So the only thing was I had to make sure when I was cutting down the page that I left enough space so that this would actually fit in not just this way, but it wasn't going to be too wide that I couldn't 
turn the page, right? So I'm very happy with that. Okay, we're just humming along here. Now, this is ridiculously simple, but very effective, and it gives you a lot of space for hidden journaling. And this is also a really good idea. If you have a page and you really love the paper and you're not interested in covering it up, um, like if it was something really... Uh, maybe something like this, right? Where you're like, oh, you put the paper in because you really like the pattern or the fonts that are on here or the colors or whatever it is. So this is a super duper way of being able to see your favorite pages, but still add paper in to journal. So we're gonna add this, what they like to call a belly band, this little strip of paper here. And I've already got my two-way tape on here to make this go a little bit faster. So I'm just going to put this down on here like this. Then, because one of my favorite little tricks to do is to do, um, is to have these little hidden journaling spots in behind the paper. So that's on sticker paper, but of course you could just glue something down. And then I have two pieces of really pretty paper that I printed off and ripped out, and I will journal on the backs of these. And then these just get tucked underneath the band. And there you have it, that's it. <laughs> right, like, ah, some of these things are so, so simple. And you think, I don't know, sometimes, I don't know about you guys, but definitely I have a tendency to make things more difficult than they are. I can overthink things. So part of the process with making this journal for the spring and, and mm, maybe into the summer as well, um, is to just use very simple techniques so that I'm not spending all this time overthinking and agonizing <laughs> over if I did it right, right, right. Okay. So there you have it. So then if you wanted to, you could add some stickers onto here, or if you had some, some words printed out or something, you could decorate this band. You could still add a few more pieces in here as well, but I, I liked the look of these two together and how the florals kind of all match, and then the blue grid in behind. Okay, we are chugging right along here. So I love this image. I love this image. Look at the little, I think it's otter and the little bunny, or maybe it's some sort of weasel. I'm not sure. But anyway, so what I want to do is I'm, go I'm going to add this page. So I'm adding this because I love it, because I think it's super cute. I love the color combinations. Um, I love the little animals. I love the little girl. I don't want to cover her up, right? And not that I need more pages in this book, but I just wanted to add this in as a little page. So let me, uh, I'm going to tape this down first with a little bit of just regular cello tape and it's got cat hair in it. <laughs> so just ignore the cat hair. Okay, so then I'm, I'm taping this page onto this page here. I'm, hopefully I'm not getting my head. That's my famous trick to get the top of my head in the camera. And then you're just going to put that on there. Press it down, All right? So you could, if you wanted to, also put washi tape on top of this. I tend to use the scotch tape first because I know the scotch tape's going to hold. Sometimes the washi, you know, you've heard me say, sometimes we ask a lot of our washi tape. <laughs> and it's like, no, I can't possibly hold all that. So, okay, so now we have our new page in. And then, here, I'm not opposed to the text. I quite like the, the text here. Um, and I like the color, the greens. And it sort of has this washed watercolor look. But, so, I'm, I'm, I could, you could put a pocket here. You could, uh, you could put a pocket 
down here. Like you could say, make, put a pocket that went like this. If you had something bigger, you could put a piece here and tuck something in the side. But because I have this tag that my friend Anique made for me um, quite a while ago, actually, I've been saving it for something special. And here we are today. So I'm going to put this belly band doo -doo 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 -doo, across here. And then I will tuck this underneath there like that. So I really love the color combination. We've got the pink ribbon against the green. Then we've got the pink roses and then the green and the pink and the tag. Ah, I love it. It's perfect. It's perfect. Now, if you wanted to, you could add a little something up here, right? You could put some stickers or something, whatever you wanted. Um, you could hypothetically, if you were so inclined, you could do a little journaling there. What you could possibly do is write on um, another piece of paper and then glue that piece of paper in there. And then that would be a little bit of hidden journaling. Um, so I have, so here's this card that I showed you before. Um, so I've got to put the, uh, the two way tape. Okay. So now I'm going to put position this a little bit further down on the page as opposed to right into the middle only because I have this piece of paper that I want to stick in there and have that show up at the top like that. So actually I put a, I'm just going to put a little tiny piece here. I made a mark of where I want the paper to stop. So that way I want the paper to stop here so that this shows as opposed to falling all the way down here. <laughs> Not that it really matters. It's just one of those little detail things, right? Because you guys have heard me say a hundred times, the whole point of working, come on tape, of working in our journals is to have fun, to relax, and the journal is supposed to be a place where you don't have to overthink, where you don't have to worry about making mistakes. It's just there for you to have fun and just forget about the world for a little bit, right? Don't overthink, which I know is hard to do. Okay, ooh, I'm loving how this is coming together. So again, we've got the pinks and the greens here and the pink ribbon, and we've got pink and green here and pink and green here, and it's ah, perfect. Okay, so then this is a, another card that I cut the back off. So I will use this as a journaling spot here. This fits in there nicely. But one thing I really like to do is I like to put tabs on things and I have one of these old school label makers, which I absolutely cannot live without. I love this thing. So I love to make labels. <laughs> I can't help it. So I'm just going to glue this and then I'm going to put this little tab on the side like this. I don't know what it is about tabs. I love tabs that, that poke out the side. Okay, so I printed this off yesterday in preparation of this. So then I will just trim this here. And we'll just plunk that right on there. And then, ta-da, super cute. Super cute. I don't know what it is about this. I think it's a throwback from my childhood. But, so then this piece of paper, I have allowed, obviously, for, there's a lot of journaling space here. And as always, you can tuck something in behind there as well, right? Whatever you feel, <laughs> how many pieces of paper you can get crammed back in there, the better. Now, I'm going to just this on here to get this page to lie a little bit flat here for us. Now again, 
This is going to be ridiculously simple. So I have another band here that we're going to put here. Oh, I got the two-way tape there. This I glued down last night um, because, I don't know, there's just something about having these little squares in behind other things that I love to use for hidden notes. This again is another greeting card and I cut off the back and then last night I glued down three pieces of lined paper and this will give me a lot of space for junk journaling or for, sorry, hidden journaling. And then, um, of course, then I could still write on here if I wanted to. So I love this idea um, because again, super fast, super easy, and it uh, gives you a lot of space to journal and it's hidden. So then what I want to do is I'm just going to put, where do I want to put the band? So part of why I decided to use this card on this page is because I really love this floral print and I didn't want to cover it. So this works out great. So I can have the hidden journaling in behind, but still see this and, and utilize all this blank space here. Now on this one, I used a little bit thinner two-way tape because I realized if I used the stuff that was a tiny bit wider, I'm not sure that I could get the card in and I didn't want to have to cut it down um, because of the scalloped edge, right? Any of the other cards that we used, um, it's not a big deal. This I cut down a little bit to fit um, and this obviously I cut so that I could make the tag. But when it had this scalloped edge, I just wanted to make sure that it fit in and I wasn't going to mess with the original design. So doodly doot. What we want to see their little feet. Whoop. There we go. In there, perfect. And it slides out nice and easy. And then I have this here. Ah, works out great. And then we got, did I put that on? Is that, it's a little, oh, it's a little bit crooked. <laughs> Oops. Okay, hang on. Oh, oh, the A-type personality in me is going to be like, you can't have a crooked. Even though I know I say there's no mistakes. Don't watch. <laughs> Don't watch me be ridiculously uptight about it being straight. Oh, is that? Okay, we'll just leave it. I'm not going to measure it. I promise. After I turn the camera off, I'm not going to measure it. I might measure it. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, so that's it for today. I think that's good. That gives you a few really simple ideas, again, to use with your greeting cards or pages out of um, books, picture books, coffee table books, kids books, whatever books you got, and some paper that you might have floating around and creating extra space here and utilizing the little gems that we have given to us when the card makers are kind enough to create pockets for us. So I'm really happy with that. And like I said, super, super easy. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it would inspire you to try some of these things in your journal. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. And as I always say, please, please enjoy your journals. Please don't overthink it. Um, you, if you don't like what you've done, cover up the page and start over again. And speak kindly to yourselves when you're journaling. This is supposed to be a really lovely space and time for you. Um, we have enough people in the world to make ourselves feel pro poorly <laughs> about ourselves. We don't need to do it to ourselves. So have a great weekend and I'll talk to you soon. Mwah. Take care everybody. Happy journaling.